Hi kiddos, today we are going to learn Cursive J. Cursive J is one of my favorites because it's in my name. So for a cursive capital J, it's kind of tricky. We're gonna come down, up and around, down, and then up again, kind of like a B, kind of like a sloppy B. And we're all in one motion, so up and around and up. Up and around and up. And kiddos, remember we talked about how you're connecting to another word? You might need to come out here to connect to another word. So if you want to practice it that way, that's okay. I might do it like that when I'm practicing by myself. Because then I know I can connect it to another That one was better. It takes practice. So it is tricky. Okay, for our lowercase j, it's much easier. We're going to start at the bottom, come up like that V that we learned with I, down and around like G, and up with the tail and dot your I. So we're going to come down all the way, curly Q, and dot. Start at the bottom, go up to the middle line, come around for your curl and dot. Beautiful. I fit four there, three here. So your paper should look exactly like mine, kiddos when you are done with your cursive J. I think I like lowercase J's more than uppercase. They seem more fun. Whew, your hand's probably sore from all those J's. Okay, now let's go into our sentence. Jenny just ate jelly from a jar. So we have Jenny, capital J, and we're going to come right into our E. See how that works, kiddos? Jenny, just come back to dot our J, and our T, cross our T, eight, Come back to cross our T. We're going to, have to come back to dot our J at the very end. Jelly. Boing. From, remember F's. From a jar. My hand is sore. I don't know about you two. For you all. And don't forget to dot at the very end, kiddos. All right, I can't wait to see your beautiful cursive J's.